Yo, 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 Hendo here with Average Dude Slow Pitch. Today we're bringing the brand new Louisville Slugger 2024 Scott Hartling. This is a 13 inch barrel and load model. The one we're gonna be swinging today is a 26 ounce. It is about 32 degrees out here currently, so well below what Louisville recommends you swing one of these at. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, if you head over to sluggerslowpitch.com, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, you'll see a link that talks about how to break in your bat, and they talk about not swinging it below. It's either 65 or 60 degrees. However, we wanted to sure we got you the footage, let you see how this bat performs prior to release. So we went ahead, kept the bat inside overnight, along with all of our softballs. We're gonna go a round or two with 52s to kind of protect the bat the best we can. Then we'll get about 25 to 30 swings with Classic M's Pro M's, just so you can see the performance with kind of the standard game balls. Once we're done here, we'll go ahead back to the garage and we'll give you our final thoughts. We're going to do our best as well to get the velo test here at the field, but again with the temps, we may end up going back to the garage for that as well. Today we're out here at Apodaca Park in Las Cruces, New Mexico. We've been out here a few times, but basically we've got about 330 down the lines. We've got 360-ish to 365 to the power alleys, depending which one, and then dead center puts us right at about 390 to 395. So we've got plenty of space to work with. Like I said, we'll get some swings on here, let you know how it does, and then we'll get back to the garage and get you the final thoughts. All right, and real quick, just the specs here on the Scott Hartling before we swing it. This is going to be a 13-inch barrel, two-piece design, end load model. It's got the standard size handle, nothing thin like the Suncoast or Junos or Monster if you swung any of those. Then all Louisville's come with that pyramid grip. I really like it, but if you don't, it is a removable grip that you can use. And then a standard size knob. So let's get some swings on it and see where it's at. All right, let's go ahead and get the starting compression here on the Louisville Slugger Scott Hartling before we throw any swings on it. Dial to zero. And right on par with the rest of the power coils right between that 275, 300 mark. Let's get some swings on it and see where we're at. And now it's closer to the end, so. Again, if you're somebody who has to swing the softer balls, 52s, whatever it is, in your leagues, different tournaments with any of the usual say bats, so far it seems like between Louisville and then even Dean Marini seem to be my favorites with those 52s. But these Louisvilles, it just feels great with those softer, those 52s and really any of the softer ones. Yeah, all sweet spot there. This one feels good, but then again, I don't know any 13th Louisville's that haven't really felt good at these power coils. So we're going to be back to just pick the end load you like best, barrel length, and send it. It, it, it just sounds, bro. The sound. This one sounds really good. We swung that 14 inch recently and. It also had a good sound, but just this slightly shorter barrel going to the 13 from a 14. It, got, it has a real good sound. Again, these are only 52s. We'll see what it sounds like with the Classic Games Pro Amps. But for anyone that didn't like that ting ping sound with kind of most of last year's Louis, it seems to be gone now for the most part. You still get the feedback though and change in noise. quick before we switch to our classic games programs out here we're just going to go ahead throw some velo on the 52s just so you can kind of see how it's handling those again for those that may have to use kind of those softer balls in their leagues tournaments whatever it might be 103 miles per hour what? 101 miles per hour 98 miles per hour 95 miles per hour 96 miles per hour. Yeah, absolutely what you want to see, Exit Velo from 52s. Let's jump over to Classic Games Pro Ms and then see what we get. There's the benefit though of a Louisville is you try to put a good swing on it, you miss it, get under it, and it still carries out at 360, 370.
Line drive off the scoreboard. And again, it's low 30s out here. We've got now probably 100 plus swings on this thing. Half of them, a little more than half. 52s, the rest Pro-Ms, Classic Ms. We got some webbing and nothing else. So that's a, for me, that's a significant improvement for Louisville. Not saying you should ever come out and BP these bats that cold. Again, 60, 65 or above, but it's nice to know it's holding up in case you were gonna use it in like a winter league or, or tournament or something like that. Yeah, and the exit velocity off of these Louis, especially off this Hartling, you don't need hardly any launch angle. I mean, that thing was maybe halfway up the lights at the highest point, getting out of the almost deepest part of the field. Easy to control with that half ounce inload. Yeah, that one was off the end. I could feel it. You lost a little bit of that extra oom from the sweet spot. And you could tell right on your hands from the sound. And we still got out to a one hop of the fence. Everything you can ask for in a Louisville Slugger. Incredible sweet spot, incredibly forgiving. Good feedback, feels good on the hands. And honestly, again, we've heard a lot of people complain about the sound of these Louisvilles, calling it too high pitched, ping, ting sound, whatever you want to call it. It seems like with these newer techs, starting with the Brady and now here to the Hartling, and even with the 14 inch we swung recently, it's pretty much gone. So let's get a final compression test and we'll talk about it in the, in the final thoughts. 111 miles per hour. 96 miles per hour 104 miles per hour 103 miles per hour 106 miles per hour 109 miles per hour Little swings and velo test complete here with the Scott Hartling Louisville Slugger we're gonna go ahead and test it it has about a hundred swings maybe just a little bit less again it was sub 40 degrees all day 52s for about 60 percent and then Class against promos for the rest. And just over 250, right at 250 potentially, which is pretty much what we expected. Most of the power cells we've seen start between that 270 to 300 mark. They come down within 50 to 100 swings, sometimes more. Obviously the cold weather definitely played a big part on that. So it could take closer to 200 swings on this normal model. But either way, now that it's here, you put this thing in your bag, you game it from this point forward and it's going to last you for a long, long time. My Louisville Slugger Vice, both one piece and two piece, which dropped not a months ago, they each have easily 600 plus swings. They're both still going strong compression wise. So just keep that in mind and we'll talk a little bit more about it in the final thoughts. All right, we're field swings, velo test and compression test complete here on the Louisville Slugger 2024 Scott Hartling. Again, this is a 13 inch barrel and loaded model. The one we swung is a 26 ounce. And we were out here in about 35 to 40 degree weather, which yes, is well below the recommended amount. But as we talked about over there in the intro, we want to get the swings on this for you so you can make a decision prior to it releasing. And even with that being said, we put about 60 swings on it with 52s and then almost another 40, if not more, with Classic Ams Pro Ams. And all we've got on this thing is some webs, no seams, no paint chips, anything like that. So very surprising for me, this thing held up great. I wasn't really expecting it to last the way it did. I mean, I, I didn't expect it to break, but I expected some paint seams, things like that. And to see that that didn't happen, whatever Louisville's changed kind of with this newer tech, I know they've upgraded their tech again. Uh, I think the first one with that new tech was the Brady, if I'm not mistaken, but it's definitely made a bit of a difference there. Usually if you swung these things out in the cold weather, you'd see some issues, especially those paint seams, if not a complete break. So it's awesome to see. Performance wise, Going into this, the Brady so far had been my favorite Louisville that had dropped um, over the last six, seven months. Really my favorite two, or 240 Louisville has been that Brady as well, that 12 inch barrel full ounce. But this one is gonna be right there with it. I am a 12 inch barrel fan typically, so I really do like that Brady feel and everything like that. But this 13 inch barrel, to me, swung almost exactly the same as that Brady with just maybe even a little bit more forgiveness, which is saying a lot because I felt like you really couldn't miss in the ball so he flew off of that Brady. The sweet spot is incredibly hot. 
just like all the power coil Louisville's it's forgiving towards the end forgiving towards the hand nothing hurts your hands and then one of the big things I've noticed since that Matt Brady dropped and then now here with the Heartling and we recently swung the 14 inch so all this newer tech Louisville's is that ting or ping whatever you want to call it that I know a lot of players really didn't like it seems to be gone for the most part now you do get a different sound than you're probably used to when you're up higher on the barrel or lower on the barrel but that actually is to benefit you so you know that you missed that sweet spot you didn't get it quite right so between the sound and your hands you'll kind of know that feel that okay i missed it but when you catch the sweet spot it's like you're it's like it's just absolutely jumping off you don't feel it at all in your hands sounds great the ball absolutely flies so just like it's been since the 240s really came out for louisville each of their bats really gets better and better however with this new 2024 tech that they've dropped we're going to be back in the same situation we were last year with their 23s pick whatever barrel length you prefer whatever end load and just go with that one there's really not a significant performance difference again i saw kind of the same performance with this as i saw with the brady it was also pretty similar to that 14 inch so just pick whatever it is that you're most comfortable with and go ahead and swing that so if you want something like a half ounce end load 14 inch barrel you'll have that option this year if you want a 12 inch barrel one ounce end load you've got the brady if you want a half at half ounce 12 inch you've got the everett and so on and so forth so don't hesitate to pick up these Louisville's. Durability seems to be getting better and better with them as well. There were obviously a couple little hiccups there at the start of the 240, but each model has gotten better and better with that, especially if you follow the braking procedures that's sitting there at the bottom of the Slugger Slow Pitch website. So with that being said, you'll have a couple options to pick this up when it releases here shortly. You can head over to headbangersports.com. Our Louisville Slugger code there is ADS35. If you want any other gear not Louisville Slugger related, then it's simply ADS. Or you can head over to sluggerslowpitch.com and it's also code ADS35 there as well. With that being said, if there's anything else you want, whether it's from Headbangers, Louisville, or any of our other affiliates we've got out there, head down to the description of the video. You'll see our link tree. It's got a link to all of the different affiliates we got on there, Bruce Bolt, Slugger, Proton, Headbanger, so on and so forth. And it's also got our website, averagedudeslowpitch.com. You'll see a new kind of ranking tier system coming out here in the new year. So you can kind of see where all these different bats sit for us. And then if you have additional questions, there's a contact us page. You can get a hold of us if you need help ordering, you just have questions, advice, whatever it might be, reach out to us, let us know. We'll gladly get back to you and get you squared away. All in all, again, great bat. We appreciate you checking out the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a great day.